Hello, and welcome to another speed paint video. I have always been fascinated with colour, and I thought I would experiment with mixing different densities, so acrylic ink and water, and to see kind of what happens when I drop the ink and let it mix, because I've seen people do this sort of thing with some watercolours and water but this is kind of a little different because of the different densities um, and yeah the flow of the ink so I just thought I'd add this little intro just to mix up the videos um, and you might be seeing a little bit more different editing um, if I have time in certain videos as I just want to make things a little bit more interesting and a little bit more different. Um, so yeah, so onto the actual piece of artwork. I decided to do a giraffe because they are one starting to become endangered and also I've just always had um, quite a, what's the word? Um, I can't remember the word. Quite a um, intrigue and admiration that's the word I had quite an admiration for giraffes just how I just love their long necks and how they manage to find food on high branches that other mammals wouldn't reach um, and I just think they're quite fascinating looking mammals really um, so yeah on to the actual supplies so the paper I'm using some people might recognise it from one of the scroll boxes. It's it was a scroll box. I think it might have been April where we received um, Amsterdam acrylic uh, acrylics, and the paper is kind of a ridged paper, so you can see those lines all in it. And I decided to actually try some watercolours on this paper, and I will admit the watercolours actually worked on this paper way better than acrylics did. So. After sketching it out, I just did um, kind of washes going from light to dark tones, just kind of looking at the reference photo as much as possible um, and working on it that way. I will say that I'm slowly learning different aspects of watercolours that I previously didn't kind of know. and. One of one of those is layering, and I've heard people mention, you know, when you're working with watercolors, always layer them. But this was different. I kind of um, did it in a better way, kind of do, working on different parts. So by so I'm not working on, as on the piece as a whole. So it didn't take forever and have to wait for for drying, etc., which always put me off working with watercolors. So this way kind of worked a little bit better and. Um, yeah, it kind of, it was just a quick speed paint. Like I say, I'm trying to develop my watercolour skills and um, I thought this was a good way of doing it. Um, I've noticed that I don't seem to be getting the reception from speed paints as I would on some of my other videos. So if you are watching this and you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and maybe a comment, tell me what you would prefer in some of my videos, whether you'd want more speed paints or you'd want something a little bit different. Um, I'm thinking of a few ideas for some upcoming videos, um, one being actually doing a bit of modelling with clay, um, which is something I've done for a long time, I just have never put it in videos because I never thought people would be interested. So please give me a comment if you would be interested in something like that and I will definitely do a video on that for you. Um, on to the art again, I don't really think there's much else to say. I was using Gamboge Yellow, it was a mix, oh here that's a good idea is to mention what paints I'm using. Um, I'm actually using Cotman watercolour paints, half pans and tubes, so it's a mixture of the, the both. Um, and then later on I actually use FW acrylic inks and some Liquitex acrylic, acrylic inks too. Um, so yeah, I was just using a mixture of Gamboge yellow, cadmium yellow, not so much. Um, what else? Sienna, burnt sienna. Um, I think that's it. 
and then for the background I was using just a, a blue and green FW ink which is wet on wet technique used for watercolours um, just to create kind of like flowy look between the colours um, which I quite liked um, yeah so that's that's basically it I think yeah so like I said it was just a quick video and um, I hope you have enjoyed it uh, like I say please give me a thumbs up if you did and maybe a comment just to have a chat and um, yeah and I appreciate everyone watching who does watch my videos um, it means a lot to me so thank you very much and I will see you in my next video bye but um, yeah I got through that <laughs> um, it's not the end of the world yeah on to the actual drawing though I 